What is the difference between a load and stress testing? So one by one we'll see here. So load testing is we validate the system behavior under the expected load. This is very important. Expected load. We know it and we are testing for it. The load can be of concurrent user or resource accessing the system at the same time. We are saying, okay, 1 million website user will be there, 1 million will be checking. This is load testing. But in stress testing, we are increasing it to say 10 million. Okay. That is, this is a test, test, uh, testing technique which validates the behavior of the system when it executes under stress. That is, we reduce the sources and check the behavior of the system. For example, there is a chair and one by one we break the legs of the chair and we try to see where it falls, on which leg. So we first understand the upper limit of the system and gradually reduce the resources and check the system behavior and this is the stress test. Okay. So let us see one by one. I hope you got the difference between these two. So load testing and stress testing one by one. First of all, load testing is finding the application behavior with expected load. You know the load and you're testing with that load, right? And stress testing is finding the application beyond that behavior beyond the expected load. What we know is load testing, but beyond that stress testing. If the build is now stable, we can go for load testing. And now when the application is satisfying the load testing, then we go for the stress testing. Okay. So load testing, doing this test, we can validate the performance testing objectives. Okay. And stress testing, by doing this stress testing, we can find the breaking point of the application. Breaking, where it actually breaks. As I just suggested, a chair, we are breaking the legs. At what point, point the chair is going to fall? So load testing, we know the load, expected load, we do the testing with that load. Stress testing, we know the load, but we are going to exceed the load and see where the system or a software breaks down. And that is the limit we know. And most of the time, the websites and this stress testing is used for that.